Okay? Here, when people came to respect, what they did was, they were not happy with just this. We, remember, we need art. So, to make it more permanent, what they did was, they put a wooden railing. And you will see animals also come and worship. Alright? And humans all coming to worship. Okay? And the railings were made of wood. But, when they were describing it, on walls in the temples, they cut. That is why I showed you earlier how the original using brush. Second, you just etch it. They had already reached the third stage of removing a lot more. But they had not freed this image. They hadn't taken it out yet. They hadn't learned how to go behind it. Okay, so this is flat. And you can see everybody worshipping. Alright, and uh, the, the, the trees, devas also worshipping. Alright, and uh, this is a depiction of what the early uh, Buddhists were doing. And this is about first century already. Okay, not allowed to make statues of the Buddha. Buddha had attained Nirvana, not allowed. Okay, and then uh, that, that is taken from underneath that. You can see animals coming to pay respect to the Buddha. Okay, now, the job is completed. This is uh, uh, about 7th century. What they did was, they went into a cave. They went into a cave. They cut into the rock. This is all rock. You will notice the original idea is from wood. But to depict an original temporary structure, to make it permanent, they cut into the cave. Alright, and built all of this. And look, all these pillars is actually living rock. Alright, and if you were standing there, you would be about this time. Okay, and what they did was the main structure, they cut right around and freed this as a freestanding structure. Okay, and the uh, same, when they dig like that, like, like what the Malays do, after they die, they put an umbrella. And that became part of the structure, which we call the chakra. Okay, so this is a very, this is a near Bombay, Samchi area. Okay. Now, Pagodas in different, different shapes. And the best one I like is, uh, this is a stupa, the different shapes of stupas. But when it reached China, Chinese being very practical people, you don't make such a huge structure to put one bone inside. All right? And everything is solid. You cannot go inside this. All right? What the Chinese did was they took this top, I'll explain the meaning of this stuff. They took this stuff, put it like that, put the image here, and use this for everyday use. Okay? And then somebody asked, what does it mean? So, after it was built, somebody asked, what does it mean? Oh, okay, I want to know what it means. I invent what it means. Earth, water, fire, wind, void. Okay? But the other explanation for it is, Hmm. When you look at a stupa, it's identical with what happens when you look at a Buddha image. Sila, Samadhi, Panya. Develop your physical, develop your mental, develop your wisdom. Noble Eightfold Path. All of the Buddha's teaching is represented here. Right. But you saw how it didn't begin like that. Later they put this in. Similarly, the Buddha image also is similar Samadhi Panch. Okay. Right. Now, look, at, this is in Sri Lanka. It started as a two foot thing. But it grew and grew. We Buddhists somehow cannot build small. Already, I think Putra Heights already thinking of putting up another 10 story building somewhere. Babs did it, now Puchung has done it. <laughs> okay, and we, we cannot make small. And that 
same thing happens here. Look at that one, Anuradha Pura. It's built by King Dutugabino. That means about 150 BC. That means about 2,000 years ago, still standing. And it's so marvelously built. Look at the height, 300 feet. About the same height as the pyramids. In, uh, okay? But look at this. When we marvel at the pyramids, marvel at this. At that time in Sri Lanka, that today there's 30 million, which means at that time there could not have been even one million similes in Sri Lanka at that time. And yet, look at the dimensions of that is the Ruan Valley Sai. Okay, it is 300 feet high and 500 feet in diameter. And how was it built? One layer of brick. Then the next layer of brick, then the next layer of brick, then the next layer, all solid. Can you imagine the weight? Now to support this weight, what they have no piling. And we have records of what they did. They, they dug in 100 feet, brought in stones from Ganges, round stones. Put those stones in there, got elephants to go down and push this down. It's, it just boggles the mind how they did it until they came to ground level. Then they started building. That's why 2,000 years, no earthquakes, nothing can shake it. Okay? Now, next one. Next one, I see. This one is Abayagiri. Now it's a lot, lot better. This is all taken over by UNESCO. And so they've got the money now, the war has ended. It's not like this at all. This was about oh, 10 years ago. Okay? But, it is even bigger than that. And this is Abayagiri. Okay? Now let me share with you another one. Okay, there's the Shwe Dagon. This is in Burma, and you will see how practical the Japanese have become from the Chinese. And they've only taken the top. Okay? Right. Uh, this one is Shwe Dagon. And it, it contains Sahari Nika, eight hairs of the Buddha. Okay, and the tip here, the tip here when you go and see is a tiny little dot. Right? What does it contain? Oh, sorry, this is all covered with 8,688 gold slabs. This whole thing, 8,000 over gold slabs. Each is worth, I'm talking about 10 to 15 years ago now, think of gold price. Each was worth US 500. So now it's probably each is worth US 2000. Each slab and there's 5000 slab and the Burmese have no food to eat. Okay? Right. And on the tip here, 5000 diamonds, 2000 rubies, sapphires, topaz. Also 300 feet high. And those of you who have been there, you saw the marvelous beauty of this. Okay? Um, all right, that was the first object of veneration for about 500 years. But people tak tahan. Not in a, how are we going to, there's this thing, I want to do the Buddha, not, but I'm not allowed to. So what do they do? They went for an iconic, meaning images to represent the Buddha, symbols to represent the Buddha, of which, okay, here you have, Stories being told, 100 BC, no images allowed. But I want to tell the story of how Jetavana Park was, uh, was uh, born. You remember the story about uh, Ananta Pindika wanted to offer Jetavana yeah. to the and he covered with gold? All right. They wanted to tell that story, but they were not allowed to depict the Buddha. All right. And so, what? this is that story. People are okay. You can uh, depict people, but you cannot depict the Buddha. All right? Here, before the Buddha was born, he was born as a Bodhisattva. This is a story of how he was the king of the dear golden color. All right? And the king, the earthly king, wanted to eat deer meat. So every day they were killing one deer. So the deer said, This is very.